हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ आर चैप्टर कार्ड्स एंड व्हील्स एंड वी विल लर्न हाउ टू ड्रॉ द सर्कल्स फ्रॉम अ गिवन रेडिया एंड गिवन डायमीटर सो लेट्स बिगिन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस यू दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट इज नोन एज कंपस ओके वी विल यूज दिस कंपस टू मेक अ सर्कल in this picture you can see different parts of a compass this one is a compass needle this is hinge this is pencil and this is hold for a pencil this is your compass this is a pencil now put your pencil inside your compass like this make sure that your pencil does not surpass it or just lag behind it no it should be on the same level of this nib clear and then tighten the screw of your compass so here your compass is ready to make a circle now we will see how to make a circle by using this compass like here our first question is to draw a circle by using compass so in first part radius is given to us r is equal to 3 cm for this first of all we will draw a line segment of 3 cm so with the help of your scale and pencil first of all make a point at 0 cm like this and then another point at 3 cm okay you have to join these two points by drawing a single line and this must be of the same distance as given to you radius okay remember this must be the radius of a circle r is equal to 3 cm this point would be the center of the circle and this point must lie on the circumference of a circle okay so for a center you have to use this nib okay and to draw the circumference we will use this pencil clear now let's see how to do it so put this metallic nib here and adjust your compass so that the distance of this pencil would be exactly at 3 cm like this okay not like this not like this just exactly at the distance of 3 cm from this point now put your compass here like this and hold it from the hinge this part is part ko hame hold karna hai so put this metallic nib on the center and then hold it like this and then with the help of pencil move your pencil to make a circle see how to do it I guess I have to use smaller pencil. But okay, okay. Yes, done. See, this is how you will make a circle. Okay, and then this part will become the center of the circle. You may say, oh. and this part will be the this point will be at the circumference of a circle and we will call it a okay so a o a is the radius of circle that is of 3 cm and this is how you will use this compass to make a circle clear now in question number 2 the diameter must be given to you and you have to draw a circle by using compass okay so if diameter is given to you first of all you have to find the radius out of it okay it's easy to find the radius right radius is equal to diameter by 2 so use this formula and find out the radius first and then use the same method to draw a circle now question number 3 is name the following in a given circle now let's see how to name parts of a circle so here first of all we have to name the center here the center is 
point B. So here you will write point B. Okay. Now look at the radius. Radius is from center to circumference. Right? This distance. So it must be B, C. Okay? Aap is tarah se kahoge. Pahle first alphabet B and then C. This is how you will name it. So B, C is a radius of the circle. Now you can see that there are more radius as well. Like B, A, B, D. These are also the radius of a circle. So you will write it as well. B to A. So comma B to A. This is also the radius of a circle. And then B to D. This is also the radius of a circle. Okay. Now B C, B C or C B. Both are same. If you write it like C B. Then this will also be a correct one. Okay. It means aap iski naming left to right bhi kar sakte ho or right to left bhi kar sakte ho. Just remember that you have to include both the points. Okay, both the end points of that line. So, BC and CB both are same. So, write it at once only. Like if you write BC here, then don't write CB again. Okay, BC means aapne ye distance cover kar li hai, aapne ek bar is radius ko mention kar diya hai. So, don't mention it again. Clear? Now come to the diameter. So diameter is D, C. Okay. The end points of this line segment. Don't write D, B, C. D, sorry. D, B, C. Ye nahi likhna hai Okay. Write the end points only. That is D, C. This one is correct. Okay. Or you can write C, D. This is also correct. It means, the line segment hai, uske points aap idhar udhar kar sakte ho. Like, you can say C, D, C or C, D. Ye dono mein se aap koi bhi ek likhte ho, it would be correct. But if you include any other point lie on that line segment, then it would be wrong. Okay, so diameter is D, C. Now, chord. So, for chord, here you can see it's a chord D, E. End points are D, E. So here this time I will write E, D. Okay? Main e, D likh rhi hoon is paay se. Thik hai? Agar aapne E, D likh diya, then don't write D, E again. E, D means the same distance. Now you all know that chord of a circle. The longest chord of a circle is? Yes. The diameter. Okay? So diameter is this one. This is also a chord of a circle. So you have to mention it also. So... Here, D, C, right? D, C, here. Okay? So, this is how you will name all the parts of a given circle. Now, last question is question number 4. Answer the following. You have this circle and some fill-ups related to it. So, first part is O, D is a dash. Now, look at the O, D. O to D. That means center to circumference. This distance is the radius of a circle. Right? So here you will write radius. OD is a radius. Similarly, part B is AC is a. Now look here. A to C. This is the diameter of a circle. Right? So write diameter here. In a similar way. Identify all the parts and fill in the blanks. So, this is all about today's class. Now, we will meet in next class with a new topic. Till then, take care and bye-bye.